Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can integrate Stripe Payment Gateway uh, SEA, Strong Customer Authentication into your website. So this is quite easier because you have to do some settings into the dashboard and then after you have to copy paste the code from the dashboard itself and uh, then you will uh, able to complete the uh, integration. So let me show you how you have to do all the stuff. First of all, you have to go to Google and there you will be uh, you will have to search stripe sea checkout and here you will be getting the link strong customer authentication and you have to scroll it down and here is one time payment uh, i will also be integrating uh, the uh, recurring cards uh, in the later videos but over here I am going to use a pre-built checkout page so that will would be looking like this and uh, I have to scroll it down and click on one-time payments then after I have to click on client only integration Here we have one time payments with checkout client only integration. So we have to follow few steps. So we have three, three steps to do the whole process. First one is enable checkout in the dashboard. So what we will, we will do is we have to click on checkout settings. So here we have to enable this radio button. We have to click over it and then click on allow then after we have to follow the second step so we have to create a product in the dashboard so here are few steps navigate to products then we have to click on new and then click one time purchase products so we have to click on products firstly So make sure you are going to enable the test mode from here because we have to do uh, all the things in the test mode first and then after we have to move to the in a, uh, live mode. So we have already created first product. So I am going to create one more product. So we have to click on new button and then we have to select one time purchase products and then we have to uh, write here the product name. So second product and then we have to choose the currency from this drop down. So I am going to keep the euro and here we have to add the price. So I am adding here 15 euros. Then we can add an image. So this is optional but I am going to add this one. So let me add this one. So once this is uploaded, you have to click on save product. So again, I am going to the documentation. So here I have completed two steps and then we have to move to third step. Third step is generate the checkout button. So here we have two ways to generate the checkout button. One is write it yourself. What does it mean? It means that we have to copy this code and put into our uh, uh, file but we have also uh, option in the dashboard so I prefer to generate in dashboard so what we have to do is we have uh, this type of user interface on the dashboard and we have to click on use with checkout and then we will be getting this type of screen and from there we will be copying the code and paste into our file so let me show you how so here we have this user interface so once you will be uh, clicking on the products then you will be getting this one i mean i am going to click on products then we have two products right now so i am going to click on second product which i created just now and then i have to click on use with checkout so here we have uh, that code which is required uh, for uh, the integration so we have success URL and cancel URL for example uh, our payment has been succeeded so automatically we will be redirected to this URL 
so if we uh, are somehow cancelled the payment process so we will be redirected to this specific url all right so let's see what will be happening over there so let's uh, copy this code from here and i am gonna paste it into my file so here i am just creating an html structure and inside of it i have to add checkout and then i will be adding the javascript which i copied from there so now what i will be doing is i'm going to run this specific code from here so i have localhost gateways then we have one time and we will be getting the button all right so let me click this button once i will be clicking then i will be getting this checkout so here i have to enter some details so i'm going to uh, write here my email id then I, I have to put some card numbers so i have the test card number here so i'm going to put the cvc then i have to add the name over here which would be on the card then i have to select the country and then click on pay so you can see the amount is over here and the selected image of the product is automatically fetched and we have the title of the specific product and price as well all right and here this is test mode that's why this is showing here so let me click on pay so finally we will be getting this pop-up so this means that payment authentication has been uh, processed all right so all the details are over here so we are going to pay means the user or you can call it customer will be uh, getting this type of uh, uh, this type of pop-up where he would authenticate that uh, uh, he is agree with the uh, purchase of the product right so once he will be cl uh, clicking on complete authentication then we will be redirected to the success url if we are uh, going to do the successful payment so you can see that this is the success url which we got over there all right this is not right now working but still we have this type of url it means that we will be redirected uh, where we wanted to uh, when uh, get successful uh, payment so let's see on the dashboard so we have already one payment so let me refresh it so you can see that this is the uh, this is 15 euros payment that is uh, that is done by second product purchase and we have the email id as well and here is the date and time so you can see all the details of this current uh, payment that uh, just completed so we have all the details of uh, the payment for example that this payment was verified with 3d secure and is protected from being disputed for fraud so here here we have the customer email then we have payment method and uh, we also have the message like payment succeeded then we have some checkout summary and we have the product which has been purchased uh, the quantity unit price amount and total amount paid and we have the payment details that status is succeeded and description is this one and what was the fee and amount and all the things over here then we have some payment method detail and this is uh, some uh, security related uh, things like location of uh, the customer and everything and then we have some logs as well so this is the details that how the uh, how the payment has been successful right so this is the json so finally we end up with the uh, integration of our uh, payment in uh, client side integration right so in the next video i will show you that how you can do uh, the uh, uh, server side integration as well as 
and the recurring payment which is really important for example you want subscription based uh, subscription based, based uh, product so at that time uh, you can select specific number of days on which the customer would be paid so that is also important i will be uh, telling you that how you can integrate into your website so hope you enjoyed the video so see you in the next video